All right, so today I kind of want to go over uh, what RPE means for me. So like if you're being coached by me, uh, this is what I think of RPE, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if this is a set of one, a set of two, or a set of three, a set of five, a set of 10. RPE 10 for 10 reps mean that you have no more energy for rep 11. RPE 10 for five reps mean you have no more energy for rep six. RPE 10 for a single means you have no more energy for rep number two. Um, and again, generally when you think of RPE 10, uh, it's probably like <clears throat> more than your max and or your max. Um, and this will depend a lot on sleep, rest, prep, uh, you know, mobility, you know, all the factors that are involved in hitting like a new PR. Um, so that's what I mean when I think of RPE 10. Anything above a RPE 10 is a weight that you fail. So let's just say if 600 is my RPE 10 for one rep, then 601 will be my RPE 11, okay? Now, RPE 9.5 is practically your max. This is like a weight that when you put on the bar, you're very confident that you can hit it for a single. But again, if your environmental factors like sleep, food, energy, blah, 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 uh, is not on point, you might still miss this weight. Uh, and or the opposite, if everything is going great, you might even get a second rep or maybe you'll just have the energy to think that you might get a second rep uh, and then from there rpe9 is um rpe9 is practically the same except you know you have one more rep for sure and then maybe two depend rpe eight and a half two reps for sure maybe three depend RPE 8, three more reps, maybe four, depend. All the way up until RPE 6, all right? RPE 6 and under is practically like a warm up weight. Um, and for that, I'll kind of show you a little bit of like some of my previous, you know, RPEs and or uh, how I think of RPE and or um, how it looks like versus what it is and. Uh, kind of explain to you my thought process uh, for a current workout, okay? But what I'm going to show you here is a RPE 10 for five reps. So this is an RPE 10 for five reps, meaning 600 pounds I cannot do for six reps during this day, January 1st, the very first of this year, 600 for five reps was the most weight I've ever done in my life. And I don't know if I ever want to do that again. If it felt, if I've gotten weaker or if I haven't gotten any stronger, then this would still be very scary for five. But currently right now, um, I probably feel like 625 is my RPE 10 for a set of five, but you know, this is like in past tense, okay? So watch my rep. If you honestly look at my first rep, that almost already looked like an RPE nine, nine and a half, okay? But because, again, I'm just on that next level, I already knew that I was working on technique, so this is just kind of, again, allowing my technique to get to allow the weight or my technique to dictate the weight. And we just ended up at 600 pounds, uh, at least with straps anyways. So I want you to look at rep number one. It's terrible, right? Should have been like an RP nine and a half. If that was my last warm up, I would be really, really worried. But because I wanted five reps, let's just go ahead and test that theory, okay? If you watch the first rep, Okay, now that was probably, if I was gonna do this for two reps, okay? Or let, let's just say if this was one rep, RPE maybe nine. I probably had one more rep in me, okay? So let's let's go ahead and take that, take look, look at that again, all right? 
Okay, watch rep number one. That's RPE 9 because I know I probably have one more rep for sure, maybe two, okay? So this probably would have been a good set of three, okay? But because I knew I was working on my technique and I knew that I ended up being too upright, when I came back on the second rep, I fixed it. Now, if you compare reps number one and number two, totally different. If I had, if I saw rep number two, and that was for one rep, that would probably be like an RPE six, you know? But if I saw rep number one, I would be looking at RPE nine, okay? So when this set first began, it was probably an RPE 11 for five reps, okay? But because I did the first rep, and it ended up being harder than it was. And then the second rep, I fixed it from here. What if I get five reps? Then that could be the new, the new RPE 10 for me if everything goes well. And that's exactly what happened, okay? So that was second rep, third rep, fourth rep, and then fifth rep. Okay, and I could tell you maybe this might have been just a been an RPE 9, you know, for five reps. But that day in particular, when I got done with this set, I was toast, okay? So even though it looked easy, like like I would 100% say that this 600 with straps on this day is probably an RPE 9 for five reps. But because this is the most I've ever done, Anything above this technically should be an RPE 10. So I, I just go ahead and make 600 pounds for deads like my set, uh, straight up RPE 10 for five reps, right? But obviously things could change depending on, again, these factors, okay? Now again, this is a set of five, all right? Now I want you to take a look at this weight. Here is 515, okay? Now 515 with straps. So that's rep number one. Almost lost my balance there. Rep number two. Three. Four, you see how hard I'm grind, grinding right now? Didn't even want to add any more weights. And I can tell you that 515 for five here was closer to an RPE 10 for five than this 600 that is technically currently my RPE 10. So you know when people think about RPE they're always thinking that I want to base my RPE off of the most weight that I've ever done right and let's just say hypothetically the most weight that I've ever done during this time period was 622 in a competition. So forget this number right here, 622. I lifted 622 at a competition maybe six years ago and that was probably the best overall factors, let's say sleep, rest, time, body weight, you know, mentally, where I was at in my life, everything was perfect, and I hit 622. And I almost pulled my pec, too. Uh, I skipped my third deadlift. So imagine that was an RPE uh, 10 for one rep that many years ago. Now, when I think of my RPE 10 now, this day, you got to think about how old I am in this video, uh, what I got going on in my life, um, how consistent my training was, my sleep, my rest. What is my RPE 10 for one rep today compared to my all time? Maybe today, 622 would have been an RPE 8. Does that make sense? On this day, RPE 8. But on my best day ever, 622 was an RPE 10. Does that make sense? So the, the 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 part about like RPE that gets a little tricky that a lot of people always forget is they like to compare their best day RPE 
with their current day RPE. And all I really, the, the most important part about what I have to say in this video practically is that when you think of RPE, this is the rule of thumb. Now with the rule of thumb, I want you to think um, it's not, the weight that you pick is not the best day ever. The weight that you pick is what day today is and how do this chart compare to the strength that you have today, okay? Now, hypothetically, let's take a look at this set, all right? This is 565, okay? Two, three. All right, I remember this set because if you look at rep number three, you see my knees kind of get soft. It's because my thumbs were about to tear off, right? But if, if in my mind I stopped at three reps with this weight, this would have been an RPE 10 for three reps. So you know what I said to myself during this set? Is it an RPE 10? Let's find out. Let's just do another rep. I really did not want to do rep number four, okay? I did it, and I was like, what the heck? Wasn't 565 for three with hook grip my RPE 10? Maybe it's just in my head. What is an RPE 10, okay? Because I did it again, and I can say probably closer to an RPE 9, RPE 10, with hook grip, okay? But then the next question that I asked is, is that truly my RPE 10 for five reps? So instead, I practically added straps and then I pushed five reps. I, I didn't even know if I could do five reps or not. All I know was no matter what, I was gonna pick this up for five reps and if I can't do it, then whatever rep that was is my RPE 10. But on the random chance that my first rep was terrible and all my other reps ended up well, 600 pounds is now my RPE 10 for five reps, even though if you watch the set on that day in particular, it probably looked like an RPE 9, okay? Meaning I probably could have done 600 for six, maybe seven reps if I had straps, okay? All right, so that was 485. Uh, probably at RP5. I probably could have done like five more reps easy. Uh, but it is starting to feel like I started to feel the weight right now. So the goal is kind of like an RPE seven and a half to an eight for a single. Kind of like what I'm going to do at the meet. So whatever that number is, a weight that I'm probably confident with three to four more reps with. So I'm hoping somewhere around 600. Uh, but if we get up to, let's say 551 and that feels a little heavy, then I'm gonna adjust, all right? But the main goal today is off the floor, RPE seven and a half to an eight for one rep. So a weight that I could do for about five reps, my best five rep is 600. So 600 is probably gonna be where I'm gonna be trying to aim at, hopefully smoke it and then 700 on a block pole for an rpe nine and a half to a ten if it's there all right but we'll go based off of what i think how it feels how it looks and if the workout's successful then it is and if it's not successful then we'll talk about it all right that was 551 Honestly, it felt easier than the warm-up before, uh, so it just means that I'm cold and I need to do more warm-up. So, uh, most likely what I should have done was probably hit that 485 for a single, waited like 10 minutes, hit the 485 again for a single before I went up to 551. But it seems like my body's starting to warm up. 551 moved pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and hit 600 and uh, hopefully it feels the same way, right? Um, also to note, uh, drunk some water last night, but not as much as I should. So that's already a factor that I'm thinking about. 
uh, because again, I didn't think I was going to work out today. I was thinking I might train Wednesday, but my schedule kind of swapped up on me. And then I only had about five hours of sleep last night. Uh, and who knows how, how many of those hours is quality, you know? So I'm thinking I didn't eat, not enough sleep, not enough water. So I got three things going against me. Hopefully um, the top set with the blocks are good because that's technically the main set for today, all right? But right now, 551 is sitting at about an RPE 5. So let's go up one more and then hopefully hit that RPE that I want, all right? All right, that was actually 595. Uh, decided not to go 600. And uh, regardless, uh, I'm not disappointed because it moved really, really good. So the first part of the workout's done. Um, now we just gotta survive the next two to three sets and hope for the best. Um, I think if everything keeps moving the way that it does, probably 700. Uh, but if anything, if we get to 650 and that's a tank, that's my RPE 10, you know? So let's see what's up. <laughs> 